to speed this one up. JW misses that shot and it's automatic to reply. Golden gonna need to put in a shift here because Crims is down low on health. Reposition comes through, Flash comes out and Golden doesn't oh. find anything. Automatic takes him down and it's all up to Crims. The veteran player holding back from short spots them out, but it's Skadoodle to claim the round win. Try and minimize the amount of rise the Fnatic are allowed to gain off the back of this. There's that chance, and there's the openings from Skadoodle. Automatic, this is the shot I wanted to see. This last one right through the boxes, right through the center, taking Golden. Obviously, a great job done by the AWP. He's really making the difference for Clyde Nine into that round. Because of this, Clyde Nine have got so many good post map positions. FNS gonna go down though. Tari can rush. Going to find three kills between them, so it falls under JW and Crims. A four versus two, and this retake is extremely difficult with no utility, no kit to work with. JW needed to win that duel a bit faster, but he still gets the kill. Goes down, and Crims makes space, but falls himself. So Clyde Nine, they pick up the pistol. So Clyde Nine just ducking, trying to get across. It's Tarek to find another kill. So two kills for him into the round. They open up the B-bomb site. Flusher lands a decent amount of damage, but the CZ from Exist is the only kill that's been fine. But JW, here's the flank we were talking about. Here's the kills, two of them, as he falls back and pulls it into a two versus two. Automatic and Rush are very low as well, and another kill from JW. These pistols making so much space. He's at a one versus three, and he will find the last kill. Four kills for him. Golden's gonna get towards the bomb, but Exist will be caught in the back, and Skadoodle can try to play the time now. Gonna try and just wait this one out, and Golden's still not on the defuse, finally Fine. fakes the bomb. Skadoodle looking for the info, peeks out, doesn't spot him. The smoke comes in, can Skadoodle get the spray? He needs the frag, and he is gonna find it. Don't have too much to work with. Two flashbangs, I don't believe there's a kid either, so this is looking very scary for Fnatic. They've got to move quickly. There's a shot from Skadoodle. Crimson Golden now, the last two players surviving. Clyde Nine on the verge of taking this map. Crimson finally strikes from behind, only gets one. FNS and Tarek clutch it out, and Clyde Nine, they take the first map. He's trying to come through for the flank. Manavanti's there, and automatic picks up two kills into the pistol, falls into a four versus two. Crims trying to catch out a couple of players, they line up for him, first kill's there, Golden chimes in. Crims will go down to Skadoodle though, and Golden will find one more. It falls into a one versus one, he spots out automatic, deals a lot of damage with that smoke. He has a kit to work with, this could be the round, but automatic, he gets aggressive, he looks for the kill, but it's getting awkward. Dancing in the smoke oh. together, 10 HP, automatic gets oh. knifed by Golden, and there's the round for Fnatic, the pistol goes their way. Over to FNS. He's going to be carrying that all, but Automatic seems oh. to have slipped his way through here. This is interesting. He hasn't been expected just yet, and there's the kill. Crims goes down a second from Automatic as he opens up the A-bomb site. There's a huge chance now for Clyde. Nine, and oh. Automatic, a triple. Flusher finally puts an end to him. Nine, they may be able just to burst out on and take him down, but there's the kill. Rush with the first, Flusher able to trade, and that's the bomb. One versus one, Flusher up against FNS. FNS gets to go back to the AK like he would have wanted, and FNS is going to push. The timing might be right. FNS does get the headshot. Fnatic and Clyde Nine. I mean, this should be a meat grinder for Skadoodle. He's going to walk around the corner. MP9, all five oh. kills. It's a quick ace from Skadoodle, and that's the round for Clyde Nine. It rounds on the board. Right. So it's got to come down to these pistols. FNS and Automatic need to step up. The kill's coming in. Automatic finds one. Flush will find the trade, but it's falling apart. It's Fnatic making space. Flush opens it up. Three kills into the round, and another from JW. And that's a job done. Two kills for JW to finish off the round. 14 to 9 for Fnatic. Bank goes down towards the ramp. Up on top is FNS. He's completely blinded by it. And Fnatic have just opened up that bomb site thanks to Flush It. They will try and make their way through. Crims now the last player as Tarek chimes in. So Crims, this is doable. I mean, he's in a one versus three. He's fine the first. He's an incredible player that clutches. There goes another one. Three kills fine so far. What? And one more to find. Tarek doesn't oh. spot him out. And it's Crims to take it. Fnatic will go 16. An HE grenade and a flashbang, and they will run into the B bomb site. JW is the first man here and he will get a little bit of information but not much more than that oh. it's golden shutting them all down three kills eventually falls and now flush are trying to chime in from ct spawn but it's a two versus three and a man in fact he's there for fanatic and Tarek gets one kill in towards the vents and no trade coming through and again flusher and crims also trying to stick together Fight's gonna come through shortly as the smoke is deployed here comes the push crims looking for one finds the headshot do they expect the second player, though? Tarek playing it patiently, spots them out, but he's going to play the time. The defuse not oh, going to happen. Tarek rams away. Very well played by Tarek as he runs around the box. And it is Tarek to step up on the pistol round. Yeah, three players inside of the squeaky door, and that's going to be an interesting play indeed, along with the bomb for the old sprint out. It's Crims sitting on top of the box. Him and Exist chime in for two, but Crims is there to shut down the bomb, and it falls on the FNS and Skadoodle. 
Do they get this back? It looks like it will be. It will be Skadoodle and FNS finding the headshots, the kills coming in. It's all onto JW. He had an insane performance on overpass. Can he do it here again? No kit to work with, no utility. It's a difficult feat, but he still hits the shot. He will pull out the AK or the M for it, it looks like here, and he will be pushing up. It's FNS in underneath the boost, very low HP, just skyring away. Of course, JW has no information that he's there. We'll tap that ball, it tries to bait him out into the open. Has the kit now, of course. FNS just dancing with it, 8 HP. JW knows exactly where he is, but he's doing this. It's a kill coming in. Behind the box, gets caught out by Crims, and that's an opportunity gone. Fnatic now have a huge chance to walk into the bomb site. It comes down to automatic. The pressure building. He has to hold on. The player's coming towards him. That smoke will begin to dissipate to his cover. is gone. And it's Tarek to walk in. Two kills. Looking for some more. Lee's in the middle of the spot. Oh. He will find Exist. A huge play from Tarek. Three kills. So Exist going to look for an early kill. Cloud9 is sticking together. So time for the new leader, the new addition to Fnatic to step up. FNS. And Automatic have to reclaim this bomb site. It's Exist, the first kill coming in. Automatic on the opposite end, but Exist is doing a good job, just wasting that time. Dancing around the oh, fourth clip. Oh, oh, and an excellent clutch from Exist. He goes 14 12 and Fnatic, the B bomb site. Tank is going to be under a lot of pressure. They begin to jump all around him. Just standing alive with the C set. Dips out, but it's Exist to find the kill. Three players left for Cloud9. And this is looking like Fnatic have dominance all over it. Automatic left inside of that vent. They know exactly where he is, but he gets the first kill, nearly the second. But it's all on to Russia, one versus four to keep Clyde Nine alive. And he's gonna find the first. He's gonna drop down inside of the checkers, sprays through, finds that kill. So it's still a little bit of a chance for him, but he goes down to Grims and that is it, Fnatic prevail. Look how passive Luminosity are willing to play this. They almost want them to walk into the crossfire. We saw this exact same setup previously with PKL in the position that Showtime is. It did go G2's way. That was round seven, if I'm not mistaken. But Shox, good find of the first. Nekka slides out. That's going to leave him nowhere to go when Existence comes in from the catwalk. And once again, the smoke down. PKL walks out spotted, but Existence was going back to check the stairs. The pistol now. Flashbang goes in. Has to go for the defuse here. And he will be able to do some damage towards Kenny, but not enough for the killing blow just yet. Needs to fully defuse the bomb here. Doesn't look like he has a chance. He's starting to flail somewhat, but there's the first frag. Molotov on top of the bomb. But that smoke is absolutely everything. Can go for the defuse. Has got the kit. Two, one. Can Kenny do anything about it? He can. Oh my goodness. Kenny comes in and saves it with one second to spare. Stay alive behind the sandbags. That's all he had to do, Matt. Stay alive. Wait for the retake. They got the man advantage here. No point giving up AW for nothing but unfortunately he will be dropped eventually four versus four no kits available and they're dropping like flies this position from body is absolutely everything looking for the clean sweep couldn't quite find it at the end but that's going to be enough to guarantee the round kenny has to close things out three players to survive and on the t side of their opponent's pick they want to desperately bait shocks in existence is going to have to be aggressive to do so because shocks in that corner diagro's gone they're going to line up in front of him he waits to fire he didn't even need to get more than one kill because smiths does an excellent job from the one and done side of the truck swap over rather than reload and that ak's got plenty of ammunition to take down neck bomb as well and it's yell in a one versus two and what would be back-to-back -back rounds for g2 bomb will be gathered but with 15 seconds shocks knows he doesn't want to allow him to plant it immediately goes back out and takes the duel from window smoked off it's a deep smoke he may have been able to play that on the ledge and still be able to fall back inside of it but he commits to getting inside of the site and rightfully so he's able to take down neck and arrival AWP for body this time and steel falls next kenny on the flank map done g2 are going to take luminosity's pick 16 to 9. this can be very vulnerable to the spam but existence is the one to go up but he makes a bit of a noise he there. did he did that's absolutely been spotted they go in they don't check it over top of them it's existence that turns around with shocks but they're unsure of which way to look they need the third player from highway which they'll get they'll receive shocks what? and existence steal massive swing in his aim and suddenly smiths i said they needed the player from highway has to respond but speaking of watch yell because if he gets the trade back it'll be a late trade and brings this to a one-on-one -on -one. there is ample opportunity to get the bomb back inside of the a site a minute to work with in fact he's gonna go all the way through there together though this is good positioning, but it's the AWP that's left to get the trade, and down he goes. Good shot from Yell. Never happens, and at that point, even a one versus three is possible with a lack of utility. PKL, good position, as he finds two frags, make it three, starts mowing them all down towards the squeaky door, and Luminosity all of a sudden have a lifeline here. Surely this is their round. Perfect. They try and make straight contact through the door, and he's positioned. Didn't want to crouch down, didn't want to hold and wait. 
Fuchs over top of the red crate. Finally, an opening for G2 will take down PKL. Bomb not quite in position, though. Still back toward A main, or excuse me, mid main. So they've got to go back for that, which means they've got to hold off longer inside of the site as Kenny S tries desperately to get the no scopes, but can't do so. And it is responded that time in which majority of the CT power towards A, but the bomb's being planted at B. Now it's a two versus two. Body secures the kill on towards Steel. Kits available, one of these players with the AWP. Existence and bodies to defend. It is the right call. If, if you're that chaotic inside of A, you forced a rotation, but you still have all the availability, especially having lost the site again, to go back toward B. And they've got so much time in the post plant, but Body had to hit that shot. Existence left at headshot, has two players approaching together, which means trade potential exists. It is an AWP for Yell. So a possibility that it can still be caught out. Good find on the first, as Existence swings back around, and he'll finally give G2 a round. There we go, Existence finds in their first gun round. To actually conceal toward Highway may tempt them into taking that position, and do they check forklift in doing so? Because it might not be suspected. Showtime does have the AWP, so if he stings up that wall, he can catch them off. The first kill by Smiths has discouraged that, however, and look at B, bodies already inside of the site. Bombs going back, Shocks is going to start to lurk any second. Showtime not peeking it as well. He can easily catch the kill to Highway, does that, and rotates in knowing there's no one else around, which means he's gonna buy more sp time, more space, and B is absolutely gonna get planted. It's 11 seconds, mind you. It's so confusing for Luminosity right now. They have no idea what's going on. Back and forth between the bomb sites where the plant does come in successfully. Showtime oh. goes with the hero play, Matt, and that could be it. Two versus one. They don't need to do much at this point in time. They can play the cross, they can play the bomb, and like you say, without the kit, this becomes a massive problem. Nekas will go, finds the first as they look away from the flash, but he's unsuspecting of them both being in the same position. Tap the bomb, which forces the peak, but he's not got much else to play for. 16-11, G2, go 2-0. Does Nathlai have the speed to deal with this? Can there be a distraction elsewhere? You see Flusher shuffling left to right. He's got Existence below him on the site now, and now Existence exposed. You see him repositioning below. He's got to be careful. He's got to block himself from the hot position so he doesn't get double peaked. The Liege will go down to his doom, and there's the 180 from Existence, but he can't trade fast enough. Yeah, a quick two versus three. Now JW is called into action, rotating through the radio room. A very quick fry from Golden, but he can't stop the bomb from going down. He can't buy JW more time, and that will be the end of JW. Yeah, that was a really interesting spot, because if you if you can imagine, I mean, this is definitely a world where Crims gets that, that 1v1, and then he gets the bomb down. And then it's a 1v2 off the plant. This actually becomes a very winnable round. So unfortunately, we were not to see it. It's position from Nitro. He's a hermit crab. He wants to be alone. Spotted by Crimson. How far will Elige overextend to try and find this kill? Because obviously they know, they know where Nitro is. Looks like he wants to smoke to create some space, but Elige has a look. And the numbers run down. There's a flashbang, but Crimson has an angle, but Crimson's alone now, almost. Exists on 1 HP. And there it is, 16 to 5. Team Liquid with a swift and decisive victory on you. Checking that speedway position or be, being around Arch to make certain that the T's aren't pushing it. And that play can be easily isolated as well. JW gets a very nice info play there, goes forward, brings the action, brings the heat to Team Liquid as he gets the pick off, goes for another one. This one might not be so successful. The width will be the end of him. Exist will spot it. There's a quick flash to delay the push as he repositions into quad and into pit rather as Crim's on the bomb site. Is now going to be left alone. Exist could not do his job, but maybe Flusher can as he comes in from the library position. Very decisive strike with the AWP. And Crims is actually in a pretty damn good spot at this point. They can't really do too much to challenge him. He's just swing out and take down both players. And that's the round for Fnatic. 10 seconds to split the site and plant the bomb. They don't know if he's pit. They don't know if he's side. If Nitro picks up Flusher first, surely that's the round. There he is, 2HP looks the other way, and he's going to find both of them. Of course he is. Nitro, <laughs> absolute beast. Have to see how successful that will be. There's a quick flash play from for Elige to go in for the frag. He's going to be successful. No trade is really possible here. The smoke is acting as a barrier to keep Elige safe, and they're going to fall back happily with that frag. And as I say that, Elige goes in for more as JW comes in for the late, the late trade attempts. And looks like Fnatic really have their hearts set on this B-bomb side. They'll continue the push. Alicia has all of 5 HP and he's gone very quickly indeed. No gap in the smoke for Nitro. Looking on the barrel position, but nobody's jumped up just yet. Three versus three. And there is a smoke to replenish. Golden's got one in the hole and that might make more problems. Taco hasn't seen the player in pool right behind him though. Someone do a 180, please. Where's the trade? Golden says and realize. Twist is dead and there goes Taco. That is absolutely crazy. What on earth? Perhaps 
Ellie surely sees him first. Does he go for the run now? Twist is not that far behind. Smoking off Speedway, but he's got to get around this corner, and he will just about do it. Does he go for the barrels plant, the coffin plant? It will be the latter. Twist moving into position. Now, he knows where the bomb's being planted. He knows that Exist is not crossing. Exist with 12 HP. He needs the headshot. He must have the headshot. Will he go around all the way? How does Twist play it out? Not touching the bomb just yet, I don't think. He knows where Exist is. He has the time to play it out. Exist wandering now. Oh, who's going to be closer? Oh! Straight in the face, baby! They're just going to have to react. It's down to Elise, it's down to Nav. Taco, though, is starting to walk. He's starting to float over through Speedway. In they go, into Elise. There's one frag. Nav turns for the flashbang. That's perfect timing. In goes Elise again. In for seconds. He'll get it as well. Again, yeah, great discipline from Liquid. The great flashbangs save the team. Five versus one. Crims gets double peaked, and that's it. Well, they've got absolutely no grenades. They just need to have shock on all and need to get the first picks and that is really problematic I mean this is a very difficult situation for them to deal with but they're going for it they've got no diffuse kit either so I feel like there's a high percentage where they just go to their doom here Carrigan I think he might have done enough rain now the last man four kills for Kenny in this round holding the bomb now for a 10 second diffuse and Smith can't get the frag <gasps> oh! the reload is there but surely he's won the round Kenny yes with the ace on a four-man retake this shotgun as Kenny S will hold the line over towards Arch Smith will be dispatched, but he's done a good job so far. Does exist existence know that someone else is on that short position? Guardian still lurks. You can surely hear Kroman on the balcony, or maybe not. Oh, <gasps> really awkward for Kroman. That leaves Guardian alone, but he's got the A site for now. Planting the bomb. His steps will be heard by Body, who's towards a short position. Moving in, the crouch pick from Body will be enough, and they can rescue the second sniper rifle if they want it. Action. Do they boost over the smoke? There is a gap, they've got to be careful. Guardian on the AWP, and it is swiftly taken away. Kenny S, back to his shenanigans, but can Nico start some shenanigans of his own as he looks to hold the line there with the AK-47? You got Carrigan as well, working from the back of the site. Nice start from Carrigan, Nico follows up, down to Kenny S, and he delivers once again. One final hurdle to overcome, it's the IGL of FaZe as he pushes forwards, the flick shot will not land. It's Carrigan to take it home there for FaZe. They don't need to go for the round win, although that's a great shot from Smiths, but they're lining up for Rain. Looking to make money with a MAC-10 off angle from Carrigan, they're just running towards Rain like a schoolboy football, and that really shuts down the round. Existence now. Okay. <laughs> it looks like a 1.6 aimbot, but I'm sure he's just <laughs> trying to keep himself for that. Existence now versus two. Ooh, so much damage. He might get some nice weapons sent in his direction as well. He needs to back off for the explosion. But surely... Suddenly time smoke. Ooh, does he check onto the balcony? Will they hear if he drops off? Oh boy. There we go. Where are the final two players? We'll make life easy on the remainder. Smith's is the first one to get picked off. No existence trades, but Raiders on the high ground. So now it's one rifle, one sniper to move into the B bomb site. Those smokes will disappear. No nades left for the T side. And the boost is coming back in. Nico doing some big damage there. But Kenny with the headshot through the smoke, probably going for the booster, but it will be the boost D. Three on three. What do FaZe choose to do now? Do they try to gamble and win the round? Do they try to wait to pick up the scraps afterwards? The Deagle shots continue to come time and time again. Shock's trying to avoid getting traded, but he has to go for it. The scope denies Kroman's position, and there it is. Just as aggressive as Kenny S was. Look how fast that is, that's ridiculous. Trying to punish, and Kroman is there. The smoke is on the balcony. He can simply hold the angle. Guardian, not sure what happened there. There's a four on four, smoke's going through, flashing through the smoke. And Rain will emerge. There's a the support for the instant trade. Great teamwork from FaZe, but it's a one versus two, and Shox is the last man standing. We haven't seen Shox in too many of these clutch spots in quite some time. It was always a treat in the past. But can he make the right calls? Can he get the right shots to connect onto his opponents as they start to make their way into the retake situation? Shox finds the first one. Carrigan now wants to hold the position. Shox searches for the trade fragger. He finds him. Nico with the orb shot. He wants to swap out a gun, but I'm not sure exactly what happened to Nico there. 
And Mike Boss on the round though, Nico is still harassing, trying to buy time for Carrigan and he's done enough. Carrigan gets the headshot, the round will be won, the map will be won, FaZe experienced some trouble but... And it's uh, going to be one CT per site but the T's have split as well so... Seems... Existence is moving for a split, loses the duel but he's got the info as to the position of the one player on the A site. Shock's going straight for the plant because he knows it's one versus one, that is quite smart. Can he pull the gun out in time though? No! Just short of being able to pull the trigger because the window has been obscured one existence spotting two three he's got one kill but he's been picked off though and there goes existence four versus three indeed it's looking like finally g2 may lose a pistol but i shouldn't speak too soon kenny's going to be in there and quickly out of there as well he's in the well you can see where he is Will he check for though? Nico moving wide, Smith not taking any aim just yet. He's completely blind, so with the T's, but he still managed to trade it. Existence with a spray transfer, cleaning up. Guardian now versus Body and Shocks. And we've got a crash from the Observer, but I have another screen, even though you guys don't. Guardian is in the one versus two. He's moved down the ramp towards T spawn with the bomb. There we are. Backups, James, backups. It's a good li life lesson here. Always have a backup. Guardian, he's trying to juke, he's trying to drive, he's got a minute still after all of this. And there's a really big question mark here for G2. Now, the position of Shox, I think you know, he would be able to hear running in T-Spawn. I don't know if he got there in time to know for certain that Guardian has or has not run in T-Spawn. Guardian, this is such a tough position. You've got to pick an option and just discard the rest. You just got to gamble on it. That's the kind of spot Guardian's in right now, but also it seems as though G2 are giving him some respect. Oh, he's gonna go deep. A lot of people would, um, who are watching might just plant the bomb here, but he expects one person to be A, one person to be B. So the CT has got to be somewhere. He just can't figure out exactly where he is. Need to get the X-ray on, I think because there is a player in CT spawn just around the corner. In the face, why is it always the face, Guardian? Where is the last player? He hears a flashbang, can he figure out where he isn't? Shocks on the site now, dropping the smoke, trying to draw Guardian out, but is he brave enough to hold? It's a 10 second defuse. Guardian makes his way, oh! shoots him in the ass. <laughs> the face in the ass. <laughs> now it's all eyes on existence. That flank, it has to be successful. That's one frag guard. He's so weak. The orb comes out, and he's good again for it as Nico and Guardian look to be in a good spot to defend the bomb. But a nice headshot from Body will take Nico out of the picture. But Guardian, doesn't matter how much health he has. If he has an AWP, he's a problem. Shocks will deal with it eventually, but it goes down to the very last man. How do they deal with this? Do they make a play or do they play passively? Ooh. That is stunning, though. Almost on Chroman, almost, but the adjustment came too late for Smiths. Nico waiting for a rotation bomb. Moving past Nico's angle as he holds, but it's Kenny here at the back. Being flashed again, but if he peeks, they try to plant default. Oh, Chroman was in the red, but there we go. Stereo frags and it's 16 to 10. Phase finally finish off G2.